for the video on circumference and area of a circle. So there's a few things that we're going to go through first. And I'm using this program called GeoGebra. Um, and the website is geogebra.org. Um, and I'm using the classic edition. So I'm going to show you how this works. I can make a regular circle and I just pick this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a point and then I'm going to extend my circle out as far as I want. And that's it. Uh, nice thing about this is if I go over here and I pick move and I want to move my circle. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I suppose I could, but uh, this will control how big the circle is. And that's fine. Now I'm going to do another circle. And over here, I'm going to do a circle, a center, and a radius. And I'm going to put my dot there, and it tells me how big I want my radius. So I'm going to say, uh, I'll just do a small one. I'll, yeah, I'll do a small one. I'll say two. I want my radius to be two. Let's see what that looks like. So I get this. Now, you may say, oh, well, that's great, but I'm not really sure what the radius is. So let's go and take a look. So here's what my screen was um, over on GeoGebra. And we know that the radius on this one was 2. And the way we can figure that out is we can draw a line from the center of the circle to the edge. And that is our radius. So to find the diameter, what we do is we go from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle, and that's called our diameter. And it's spelled D-I-A-M-E-T-E-R. That's the diameter. Now, <clears throat> in order to calculate the distance around the circle, what we're going to do is we are going to use well, first of all, we need to know what that's called. The distance around a circle is called the circumference. And that's spelled C-I-R-C-U-M-F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E -E. So that's the circumference, the distance around the circle, all right? So let's get rid of some of these markings and we'll take a look at what this all means. Now, I'm sure at some other point in time, somebody must have done a video, and I'm sure I have, on how we get the circumference formula. And what happens is we eventually realize that the circumference divided by the diameter is equal to pi. And if I put pi over 1, I now have a proportion. So if I cross multiply, I get circumference equals pi times the diameter. And you don't necessarily need to know that, but it's good to know where things come from. Well, you might say, well, that's great, but Mr. Moore, we don't have the diameter. We knew that this radius was two, we'll say two centimeters. So how does that work? Well, remember, the diameter is twice the radius. So I actually have two circumference formulas. Circumference equals two as equal to pi times d, and circumference equals to two times pi times r. So if I wanted to find the distance around this circle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this formula here, c equals 2 times pi times 2. So now I get circumference equals 4 pi. And I'm going to stop right here because this value, 4 pi centimeters, is an exact value. It's in terms of pi because pi is a perfectly good number. The problem is if I go into the store and I ask for four pi feet of or four pi centimeters of string, they're not gonna know what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my calculator, I'm gonna say two times pi times two. And I get twelve circumference, oops, is approximately what does my calculator say? Twelve point five six. Now I'm gonna round to the nearest hundredth, so it's gonna be 12.57 because that 6 behind the first 6 uh, tells me to round up. So 12.57 centimeters. All right. So now let's take a look at this one over here. And we're going to do another example with this. And let's say I know that my diameter looks to be 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And my diameter is six centimeters here. So once again, I can use circumference equals pi times d or circumference equals two pi r. Well, since I know the diameter, I'll probably choose this one. So it's gonna be circumference equals pi times six, which is really six pi. And once again, that's my exact answer, six pi centimeters. But if I wanna find out what the approximate value is, I'm gonna to have to do six times pi. And once again, I'm gonna to round to the nearest hundredth, so I get 18.85 centimeters. 18, why is this not breaking? 18.85 centimeters. Now, if I go back to GeoGebra, which hopefully it's still up, the cool thing about this is if I go on to the circle and I press here, I can find the distance in centimeters. And it tells me that the circumference is 12.57. Well, sure enough, that's what I had. And if I go over here, my circumference should be 18.85. So let's see if that's true. Whoa. 18.85 centimeters. And so I'm gonna stop right there. Um, and this is just the video on circum. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna do one more thing, sorry. What if I knew my circumference? What if I knew I had a circumference? And I'll do one more. Um, All right, so what if I knew my circumference to begin with? It says my circumference is 16.09, so let's see what happens now. And let me get rid of this. So if my circumference is 16.09, I want to find out what's the radius. We can do that by being clever. And here's what I mean by that. I'm going to start with circumference equals 16.09 centimeters. So I know that I can use, I want to find my radius, 2 times pi times r. Well, the thing is, I now know what the circumference is. It's already 16.09, so I'm gonna write that in for C. But what does C equal? It equals this. So I can write down two pi r. Well, I'm trying to find out what is my radius. That's what I wanna know, what's my radius? So I need to get rid of this two pi. Because they're connected through multiplication, to undo multiplication, you divide. So I'm gonna divide by two pi. When I do, 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1, and that leaves me with just my radius. 16.09 divided by 2 pi is, and I'm going to go back to my calculator, and I'm hoping to make a mistake, so let's see, 16.09 divided by 2 pi gives me 25.27. Now you should be thinking, wait a second, how is that possible to have a radius of 25 if my circumference was only 16. And here's the reason why. When you divide, you have to use the parentheses. Otherwise, it's going to divide by two and then multiply by five. And it looks like my radius was 2.56, approximately 2.56 centimeters. And if I go back to here, let's see what is the radius. Oh, goodness me. What's the radius? Why is that happening? Oh. Oh, oh all right, there we go. Two point five six. And that's it, so it does work. Alright, that's it. Sorry this was such a long video. Uh, I'm gonna do another video on area in a second.